because you are the same God, same God yesterday, same God today, same God tomorrow, same God forever. You are God and no one can contend, no one can take your place, undeniable. No one can contend. There is no controversy, no argument, no argument, no argument. You are God and God alone. You have always been God before creation. You were God. You are still God. After creation, you are still God. You are still God and you always will be God. And so we worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus, the creator of the universe, the master of the world, emperor of the universe, Yahweh, Yeshua. We give you glory. We give you honor. This is all that we have. This is all that we have. We lay a crown and we worship you. We cast our hearts before you and we worship you. Thank you, Yeshua Mashiach. Thank you, the Holy One of Israel. Thank you, God all by Himself. Thank you, God and God alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You who gave it all. You who gave it all. You who gave it all for us. You who set it all for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving me. Is somebody loving up on Jesus this evening? Is somebody loving up on his Father this evening? Somebody love up on your Father. Love up on your Father. He's deserving. Thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you for how far you have brought us. Somebody cast your mind back and begin to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I am God. And beside me, there is no other. I am God. I, even I, am God. And beside me, there is no other. No one can take your place.
Time. 
Let the Lord hear your voice this evening. Who can stand against the King? No one can. No one will. One more time, say, who can stand against the Lord?
Just open your mouth and um, give Jesus praise. Let's say to him, you are good. Let's say to him, your mercies endured forever. Let's acknowledge his kindness. Let's acknowledge his mercy in this place. Let's give him praise. Let's give him the honor. Let's give him adoration. Let's worship him. Is someone lifting up his voice in praise? Is that how to thank your God? Let's give him praise. La graba go ba ze gabalia pra ta 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 Ye gabara gadosh kabali ambra do bo shelebra kabaya gadeshke E gabado shelebra gade 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 gabara gabada E sobra dea La gradea gabaya gada gada We worship you, we exalt you, we give you the praise and the glory 
We exalt you. We dedicate tonight. We sanctify tonight. We separate tonight unto you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Blessed be your holy name, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. Can you just use the next 20, 30 seconds and just pray over yourself that Lord, let there be a mighty manifestation of the spirit of increase and multiplication upon my life and let it be evident by financial prosperity. Let it be evident by financial prosperity. Open your mouth and pray. Mighty manifestation of the spirit of increase and multiplication evidenced by financial prosperity. Financial breakthroughs. Financial progress. Carpado Julia, let the ideas come. Let the concepts come. Let the doors leading to it open. Let the strategic relationships that will make it happen, let them manifest, let them show up in my life. Makando basaragada e kapalagaderia. Elia bratezi kapon shele bregeboria. The year 2024, the year of the spirit of increase and multiplication, that year where I will not be denied. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over my spirit, soul, and body and my destiny. Let there be a mighty manifestation of the spirit of increase and multiplication upon my life, upon the Holy Brook Church. Let it be evidenced by financial prosperity. Let the evidence be supernatural financial supply. Let the favor that will make it happen manifest mightily. Let the grace that will make it happen manifest mightily. Let every door that ought to open for me to enter, let it open tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, let those strategic relationships, destiny help us, burden bearers, advantageous connection, the man I need to meet, the woman I need to meet, to bring me into it. Father, let it happen. Let every veil covering my eyes, covering my life, Lord, hindering me from entering. Let it be torn tonight. Let the fire of God come from heaven and consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Basi kabadi amahaya, mebra kapali, lebra kapadi, mezo frabaya gadi, ekwa braga baba, idia paraba, majilia brage ba yagada, eko brega ba yaga baba baba ya bada, rapato shaliamba, ebra de kabari akaya, yagadi kapando shalia, emada basi. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. O thou that hearest prayer, O thou that hearest prayer, Bagado Shali Gabare, Eliam Bahadosh Kaparagade, Lebra de Kamande Kabaya, Yagade Kabalia Maya, Living God. Living God, living God, Jehovah. Basha pale pale gabara gade. Hey, hey, bara ba 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 kabara gade. Elia pale ba shemba ya gaba. Mamba ba enlargement financially by the spirit of increase, by the spirit of multiplication, financial breakthroughs, Lord. Le kabare kabaya gade. E prade le a prade. Meso prade kabade, en kabaragada, yagade kamanda, meso paya, e kabadia. Bring me to a wealthy place. Bring me to a wealthy place. Make room for me, O God. Make room for me, O God. In the name of Jesus, 
Bagabo Shalia, Repa Karo Sade, Ebra de Kapari Gaba Yagade, E Praga Baba Baba, Makapare Kaba, E Kaba Baba Baba, Payada, E Kaba Saya, Yade Kabalia, E Kabaria, Le Pradea Kapaya, E Kaba Baba E Kaba Baba Baba, Balia Bale. We take new grounds financially. We take new grounds financially. We step into new waters. We step into new rent. Baria Kapare. Le Prade. Le Prade. Le Prade. Le Prade. Le Prade. We break forth upon the right hand. We break forth upon the right hand. We break forth upon the left hand. Bagabado Shakayagade. Rekabalia Prade, Eda Baba Baba, Babalia Badia. No going back. We will not be denied. We will not be denied. One financial miracle after the other. One financial testimony after the other. In the name of Jesus. Baba Bade, Le Praga Baroshka, Yagabale Pare, Le Prade Kapaya, Yagabashe Kaya. E gaba baba ba la niabo e prade agabare me so prataya ya gaba lima me so paliana ya e na gaba baba ba ba gaba lia e gaba baba ba you are the left arm of our hands. Lo prekede shaya. In the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. The favor that we need to manifest for you to break through financially has manifested in your life. Every notable relationship, every strategic relationship, every divine connection, every advantageous connection, that you will need as a woman, that you will need as a man, that your wife will need, that your husband will need, that as an individual you will need, they have shown up in your life in the name of Jesus. Every idea that needs to come for you, to you, every concept, every insight, every inspiration, every illumination, in the name of Jesus, they begin to manifest in your life. Every door that ought to open, they open up for you in the name of Jesus. I say they open up for you in the name of Jesus. They fling open for you in the name of Jesus. They fling open for you in the name of Jesus. They fling open for you in the name of Jesus. They fling open for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. The days of small time money, they are over in Jesus' name. The days of struggling, suffering, and stagnancy, they are over in the name of Jesus. We break forth upon the right hand. We break forth upon the left hand. We enlarge without limit and limitation. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 I call you blessed. 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 You know what the Bible says? Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. I call you blessed. I call you blessed, my sister. I call you blessed, my brother. I call your family blessed. I call your wife blessed. I call your husband blessed. I call your generation blessed in the name of Jesus. Blessed is he that comments in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's take our declaration. Before that, please, this Saturday, there will be no prayers, I mean, on site in the house here. We'll be meeting on Mix LR what time? 5.30. Then 8.30 in the evening on Friday. Again, it's a public holiday. So wake up early, we pray. Then, of course, 
those who you can go back to rest or do some other thing with your time. Then in the evening again, we meet. Make sure you yield yourself to that time of prayer. Mix LR is an audio. It doesn't cause you. Put an alarm. Ask someone to remind you 5.30 a.m., 8.30 p.m. in the evening, we meet to pray. And as we enter into the year, in the month of April, your life, your life, your life, your destiny, your life, we reflect all kinds of increase and multiplication. In that month, there will be no bad news in your life. In the name of Jesus. Let's take our declaration, then we go into our lecture for tonight. As loud as you can, say it by faith, one, two, go. Upon my life, the eyes of my understanding is enlightened. My heart and my spirit is flooded with light. In Jesus' name, full of eternal life. The limitless possibilities and capabilities of my born-again spirit is stirred up. The teaching of scriptures produces pictures, images, and visions in my heart. The channels of my spirit are open. Divine intelligence is imparted to me. I have actionable insights. Leave this service knowing exactly what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Today, great grace and all grace has been imparted to me. Therefore, I achieve great things with great ease. There are no limits and no limitations in my life in Jesus' name. Sit and listen to the word. I do not misunderstand anything. I am not distracted in any way in Jesus' name. As I drink from the book of the Spirit today, my spirit is strengthened, my body is healed and healthy, my mind is divinely renewed, illuminated, Two very loud amens. One. Amen. Two. Amen. Before you sit down, you'll be prophetic. You shake two people and say to them, Welcome to the realms of big time money. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. How many of you are ready for the teaching of God's word? And how many of you can bear with my repetition? That is the only way you change thinking. You have not had a teaching until it has changed your thinking. Change only occurs when mentality has been altered. Change only occurs when mentality has been altered. Every claim of a change is a lie if mentality is the same. Every claim, every declaration, every announcement that change has occurred in the life of a man or a woman is a lie. And even if there's a semblance of change, it is temporary. Except there's a proof that mentality has been altered. Lasting change is the product of complete alteration of thinking. Lasting change, sustainable change, change that will last is the output of a mindset that has been replaced by a new mindset. It is the repetition of truth that produces lasting change. 
It is the repetition of truth that produces lasting change because it's only repetition that washes. Look up, please. When those days, I don't know, most of you wash clothes with washing machine now, but those days when you wash um, clothes with your hand, I hope you know you don't just dip the, well, even though when we're growing up, there are people that just dip the clothes in water. They bring it out, they go and hang it. But when your parents come back, they know that no work done. But me and you know that if the dead will leave the clothes, you don't just dump it in water and scrub once. You do. By if we line up after service and begin to touch people's hands, we will know those that washed, those that did not wash. Praise God. You are not hearing me. I said praise God. So you can see that it is repetition of scrubbing. That removes the dead. Even so, if your mind has been taught in a particular way, or your experience of life coming maybe from your parents or where you lived, how you grew up, the school you attended, the church you attended, the person that mentored you, and they sold you a philosophy and it has entered your mind, and that has become your worldview. Or something your uncle said to you, something your elder brother said to you, something your mother, your father, your husband, or your wife, they said to you, that hope you know you are not a good business person. And they kept repeating it. They kept repeating it. At first, you were resisting. Then one day, you believed it. Now, that mindset will not be removed in one day. It's going to take the coming of the word. The word will be coming. The same word. The same word hitting it. If you want to cut down a tree, how many strokes of the cutlass do you need? Sorry? Several. Several. One stroke doesn't cut it off. Am I right? Yes. Come on, TOBC. Am I right? Yes. So you are going to go, pua, pua, pua. And then you take the last stroke that cuts down the tree. I ask you a question. Which stroke was the most powerful? The last one. Can't be the, it cannot be the last one. There is no difference between the last stroke and the first stroke. There is only power in the consistency. Am I speaking here? Yes, Don't get tired of hearing the same thing. How many of you know that those who hear once, if you ask them, what did you hear three weeks ago, they can't remember. But if you hear it over and over again, it stays in your mind. Praise God. All right, let me go into, let me do a quick recap. My recap will be brief so that I can press forward. So we started looking at the name of the Lord as a strong tower. And um, out of the several scriptures in the Bible, especially in the Old Testament, where that word, the Hebrew word sagab appears, we took three scriptures, our foundational scripture and two extra so we looked at Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. And in all of the scriptures we read, you always see the correlation between the name and sagab. And the word sagab, either coming in as the word high, coming in as the word defense, or coming in as the word high. Am I right? Yes, so in Proverbs 18, 10, it said the name of the Lord is what? A strong tower. It now said the righteous. And there's another thing I want you to watch. Watch out for the word what? Righteous. So you always see the name, righteous, sagab. The name, righteous, yes. Are, are we clear on that? So I said you will observe what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Because before I leave this, I want to talk about that you will see that every time there is protection for the believer, he's being referred to as righteous. There is, a, there is a connotation to his righteousness. What's righteousness? They come, they tell you that this man has, has no fault in him. But you, you'll be hitting your head. Ah! There's a fault in him. There's a fault in her. But he that seated upon the throne, the judge of all the earth said, I, I looked. There's no iniquity in her. You say, but I knew her on campus. You said, I'm not seeing what you are seeing. I hope you know it's not what you are seeing that matters. It's what God is seeing. 
Listen to me. Any voice that makes you feel dirty is not the voice of God. When you go to the place of prayer and something makes you feel you are not worthy, you don't qualify, you are not enough, your prayer, you are not the kind of woman or the kind of man that God answers their prayer, please, that voice is not the voice of God. Is someone here in the house? Yes. Shh. All right, so I said, if you look at all the three scriptures we read, you will see three things, right? You will see number one, you see what? Uh, no, no, you need to answer. You see what? The name. Then you see what? Righteous. Then you see what? Sagam. Yes. So here we say, the name of the Lord is what? A strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is what? Sagam. And he's safe. And he's safe. Psalm 20 and verse 1. Psalm 20 and verse 1. Psalm 20 and verse 1. Someone will carry grace and live here today. Amen. Something will drop upon your life. Amen. Something that hand cannot touch, eyes cannot see, but it's very real. Amen. I hope you know that in life, it's not all things that can be touched. It's not all things that eyes can see. It's not all things that hand can touch. But I am telling you that those things that eyes cannot see, that hands cannot touch, those things that you can't even see, you can carry them in your pocket and they are powerful. In Acts chapter 3, somebody was working and somebody was begging him for money. And he looked at the person after checking his pocket. He said, silver and gold, I have not. He said, but there's another thing I have. He said, I know what I don't have. But I also know what I have. He now said, I have something that is more powerful than silver. If I give you silver or gold, you remain a beggar. You remain crippled. But if I give you this thing that eyes cannot see, you will walk. So he says, silver and gold I have not. But such as I have, do what? Give I give eye. That means this thing that eyes cannot see. How can you give somebody something that eyes cannot see? I remember one day I was teaching Wednesday service and the Lord led me to begin to shake everybody. And some people when they were coming, they were just smiling. You know why? To them it's a joke. They didn't know it was a distribution of what eyes cannot see. That thing can heal, can deliver, it can make rich. You can contact it today and they promote you tomorrow in your office. And guess what? It's not the season of promotion. You can contact it today and someone will call you and give you a gift that will change your name and change your life. Silver and gold. I have not. But such as I have, give ID in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. You will walk into abundance. You will walk into safety. You will walk in favor. In the name of Jesus. Look at what he said. The Lord hear thee in the, in the day of what? The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. I think I memorized this scripture, verse 1 and 2, several years ago. The Lord heard in the day of trouble, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Powerful prayer. I used to pray for myself. Hallelujah. It's also good to memorize scriptures. And then Psalm 91, verse 14, for the third one. Psalm and verse 14. Psalm... 91 and verse 14. He said, because he had set his love upon me, what will happen? Therefore will I I will set him on high. That word high there is what word up. He said, because he had known my name. See, the name is coming for the game. So we now said, what is the meaning of the word sagab? We said it means to be high, to be far above. To be inaccessible because you are too high. All right. So, 
we saw a lot of things about it and we came to the point where we say with everything we have seen it means the name of the Lord is divine protection and what immunity from satanic op oppression and control it is protection from death in all of its what expressions look up and listen when some people don't know what I mean when I say death in all of its expression it's not just the physical death people dying no when Adam sinned, death came into the world there was no pain on earth before until Adam sinned there was no struggle on earth until Adam sinned all of those struggles all of those things are expression of death. There was no poverty. There was no lack. There were no demonic oppression. Everybody's blood was pure. There was no high blood pressure. There were no diabetes. There was nothing like, like cancer. There were, there were no cysts. Actually, people did not grow old and die. It was an expression of death. So we said... The name of the Lord is protection from death in all of his what? Expressions. Because you are in the name of the Lord, the expression of death called poverty will not locate you. Amen. So we're able to see from the scripture that Jesus was raised and he is what? High. And then we established from the Bible, not from our head, that when he was being raised, we're also being what? Raised with him. And because he was raised and is high, far above all principality and power and because we are in him we are also far above all what oh you are not answering me amen amen it's okay it's okay i'll just enjoy myself that's all that's all yeah 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 hallelujah so just and if you and there's something about the name of jesus the name of jesus let me start this way. Is poverty a name? Yes. Is suffering a name? Yes. Is sickness a name? Yes. What about witch? Yes. Wizards? Yes. Curses? Yes. What about demonic limits? Yes. What about delay? Whether delay marriage, delay promotion, delay in getting a job, delay in making progress, are they names? Let's check something. Help me tell you, nobody say, I am, I am in, Christ, in Christ and I have, and I have the, name of Jesus. the name of Jesus. Okay. So now we have established two things now. Listen, it's a teaching service. We have established two things that there are several names, right? Yes, then we now established that me and you, we are where? In Christ. And that we have the name of Jesus. So let's see the position of that name. Give me Philippians chapter 2, 9 to 10. You know, it's this kind of simple teachings that Christians are not patient about, but these are the kind of teachings that change their life. Are you with me tonight? Wherefore, God had, God also had what? What does it mean to exalt? To take what? So, and Jesus was not just exalted, he was what? Highly. Come on everybody, he was what? Highly. So, wherefore God also had highly exalted him and did what? Come on, you need to read with me. And did what? He was given what? Someone shout Jesus. Jesus. He was given what? He was given what? He was given what? And what is the characteristics of that name? Which is above every Did you get that? If you don't, if you get it, then let's just take the offering and share the grace and go. If you got it. How many of you got it? What did you get? Eh? Number one, there are several names. Number two, I am in Christ. 
And I have the name of Jesus. Number three, that name of Jesus is above Praise God. So, no wonder it says, go to verse 10. That at the name, come on now, come on, don't assume you know it. And let, Always allow scriptures to come out from your mouth. It's nice for scriptures to be in your mind, but don't allow it to only stay in your mind. Always allow it to come out because there's a principle that says death and life are where? That means you set death in motion through your mouth and you set life. You see, let me say something. If your business is dying, give it life. Oh my God. If your marriage is dying, give it what? If your finances is dying, give it what? If your career is about to die, give it what? If a situation that wants to press you and kill you, and frustrate you and depress you. Come, what should you do? Give it life. death and life is in the power of the tongue. You know, a lot of us who have used joke to kill our lives because we keep releasing death, 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 death. We are carriers of life. Then the Bible now says, With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Let's look at it. It now says that at what? The name of Jesus. Every Jesus. of things that are where? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of things that are where? And things in earth. And things under. Yes. So there is a heavenly realm, spiritual realm. There's an earthly realm. And there is a realm under the earth. All of them. That name is above them. My friend, why are you afraid of witches? Any Christian that is genuinely born again that is afraid of witches and curses is only unenlightened. Because number one, you and a witch are not on the same level. A witch is here. You are... Come on. Some people are afraid to say you are far above... You are what? And the name you have is what? The name you have is highly exalted and above. The name you have is highly exalted and it is what? Above every other name. Shh. Do you know what? That means you have the authority to break the yoke of poverty over your life and over your family. Oh, I wish somebody... I know what people want. They want me to, be, to sweat and jump from here to here. No, I will not. No, no, no. Not tonight. If the cloak comes, good, but not tonight. Not tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo! Glory be to God. There's an anointing in that. In the name, you can speak to your future and it will be arranged. They say there are negative patterns. Negative patterns. Negative patterns. Do you know that you, sitting there, you can stop it? Just tell them, champion has come. You know, this is, you guys will say that um, men's, men have come. Bubbles, something like that. Somebody has come. Just tell them that the authorized one has come. That was been happening. It was been happening. It was happening because I was not around. But now everybody relax. I have come. They say, Are you an apostle? You say yes. Are you a prophet? They say everything call me, I am. But just know that I have what? Come. Do you know why you are that powerful? It's not your doing. It's not even your prayer. It's not your fasting. It's not your Bible study. It's because you have what? A name. Someone shout glory. Let me say something. Wicked expectations are real. Yeah, where somebody just look at you, you've not done anything, but just say, let's watch and see. No, 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 no. She's happy. She started a business. She's not going anywhere. That business will not work. Say, watch and see. That's wicked expectation. 
Let me say something. Once you are in the name, such things are powerless over your life. Someone shout, say, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. And I have the name. And I, have the name. And I am safe. Do you know why when you go out, you come back well? You are in the name and you have the name. I'm telling you. Listen, believers need to be bold. The challenge is that we have been sold fear and we have been taught wrongly. The way we are taught, we are taught as if demons are more powerful, negative patterns are more powerful, and the way we pray about it, they are, they are stronger than us. We are just victims. It is ignorance. When you carefully read the Bible, that is why, let me say something to you. If you don't have a Bible that you read every time, nobody can help you. You will go from prayer to prayer, prayer to prayer. You will give money, do everything, you bring yam, everything. Somebody went somewhere for prayer. They told him to bring granite oil, maggi and salt, goats. I said, pepper soup and rice don't land. What did he mean? But once you have the name, once you have the name, not just have the name, you must walk in the consciousness of the name. You won't feel anything. Your body will not shake. Let me say something. Let's assume I have $10 billion in my account. $10 billion in my account. Can you see it on my body now? Do I need to be shaking like this? Eh? That, so why is it that you think you must shake to prove that you have the name? Some Christians, they've gone to mountain, come down, prayer platform A, prayer platform B. What, what is chasing you? Your goodness is running after, running you are the one that sang it, but now you say all the hell is chasing you. Ignorance, eh? Ay, 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 ay. Someone shout Jesus. Jesus. Do you have CEV? If you don't have it, I'll just pass in peace. CEV. Do you have CEV? Aha. So, give it to me from verse 9. Then God gave Christ the highest what? And honored his name above what? No, no, let's read it together. One, two, go. Then God gave Christ the highest name. Uh-huh. And honored his name above all others. Uh-huh, verse 10. So, the name of Jesus, everyone will bow down. Those in heaven... On earth, and on earth. Hey, you know we can build a house here. Someone shall say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. All, my fears, all my fears, all my anxieties, they are gone forever. Say in the name of Jesus. All my fears, all my anxiety. They are gone, gone. forever. The fear of tomorrow, the fear of failure, the fear of darkness, the fear of wicked spirits, they are gone forever. Do you feel liberated? Can you see how powerful truth is? It just comes and sets free. No struggle. All my fears are gone. Give me Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54, quickly. Yeah. Isaiah 54. F verse 14 to 17. I want to show you something there. You know, you, you know when we are in the name, we are so far above that no cause, no magic, no spell. Anybody that goes to kill a goat,
to say something against you, they are wasting their time. There is nothing they say that can touch you or reach you. Do you know why? I'm asking, do you know why? Why? Huh? Because what? Some people are not, sure, are not sure. Now this is it. Because you are far. When we say the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and are safe. What we mean is that you are too high to be accessed. Shh. Listen to me. You are untouchable because where you are, is unreachable. Yes, sir. I thought that was powerful. Yes, sir. Tell me, say, I am untouchable, I am untouchable. because I am unreachable. I am unreachable. Can we try it again? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I think that's something you should write. If you are a parent and your children are outside running and you are sitting here, that's not right. If you come with children to church and they say they are going to the bathroom, you give them two minutes. If they are not back, you need to know where your children are. Don't put any unnecessary responsibility on the church. You need to write that down. No, not just what I said now. <laughs> Woo! Tell me, say, I am untouchable. Because, because I, am I am unreachable. Do you know what? Demons can't reach you. Yes. Causes can't reach you. Yes. Magic can't reach you. Yes. Hear me? Cancer can't touch you. Yes. Failure can't touch you. Yes. Say with me, say, I am untouchable. I am untouchable. Because I am unreachable. Yes. You know, hear me. After tonight's service, Nothing will torment your mind again. Yes. That thing that hits your mind, that you can't sleep, worry, fear. I said they can't touch your mind again. Yes. Before I read this scripture, let's read something we read last week, Wednesday. You need to hear it again. Give me Numbers 23, 23. Quickly, please. Quickly, Numbers 23, 23. Look at what he said. He started with what? Surely. Huh? Surely. He started with what? Surely. Who is he talking about here? Oh, someone, let me look for those who are sure that it's them they're talking about. Who is he talking about here? Me. So what did he say concerning you? Surely. There is no enchantment against enchantment. Huh? There's no enchantment against Neither is there any against. Give it to me in the NLT. You know the beauty of the revelation that I am far. Because I am far. I am untouchable because I am not reachable. Therefore, there is no enchantment. Look at what it says here. No. Three courses. Huh? No. Come on, TOBC. Come on. This is this is deliverance service. No what? Yes. So what about if they tell you that they say there's somebody in the village that stood up, she naked herself, she ate um, bitter cola or um, something, and then turned three times round, yes. and now began to call your name and say certain things. Tell them that that activity is an activity in futility. It is a waste of time. It is a useless venture. It is a business without profit. Somebody said that activity. Work done is equal to? Do you know why? The scriptures cannot be broken. He said, no cause can touch Abu. Yeah. Yeah. They say, ah, they gather though, they use white chalk, 
to do their eyes round. Then they did something, did something, threw it on the ground. Again, we come. No magic has any. Listen to me. Once it comes to TOBC, every magic becomes useless. When it comes to any woman amongst us, every magic becomes what? Useless. When it comes to any man, any boy, any girl amongst us, all magic becomes what? Listen to me. If there has been a magic working around your life and you were ignorant before, but because light has come right now, at the sound of your amen, they become useless. Amen. Concerning your business, they are useless. Amen. Concerning your hope, they are useless. Amen. Concerning your marriage, they are useless. Ay, 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 ay. Concerning your finances, they are useless. Amen. Concerning your ministry, they are useless. Amen. Concerning your destiny, they are useless. When it happens in your office, it is useless. When it happens in the market, it is useless. Over your head, touch your head. I say it is useless. Let your amen ring out. Let your amen ring out. Glory be to God. You know, let me say something. The biggest problem of the believer is not the devil. The biggest problem of the Christian is ignorance. Yes. Now, this thing we have said now, a lot of people are struggling with it. Oh. Say, no cause. No cause. That woman in my village, they said she's 102. One, she's 102 years, three days. But let me tell you, no human being can change scripture. No cause means no cause. No magic means no magic. after tonight, go and prosper. Amen. They have lost their power over you. I say after tonight, go and prosper. Amen. I say go and prosper beyond imagination. No, somebody did not hear me. That word need to enter someone's spirit. After tonight, I say go and prosper. Amen. Go and prosper. Amen. Please sit down. Let's continue. Are you glad you came tonight? Yes. Give me Isaiah 54 verse 14. Let me hurry up so that I will enter something. Look at what he said. In what? Righteousness. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The run it. And it's what? Here it says, in righteousness shall thou be what? Thou shall be. Oh, people, are not, people are not, they are not reading this. And they are not linking it now. In righteousness shall thou be what? Thou shall be near. From what? Thou shall be from what? Oppression. After tonight, nothing will press you. Amen. Nothing will cover your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. shall say, I am unstoppable. I, am unstoppable. I rise. I, rise. I, keep rising. I keep rising. Say, I break forth, I break I break forth. on all sides. Shall be what? From what? Hmm. You are here. Where will oppression be? Far. He said, For thou shall not. Everything that makes you afraid has come to an end. Then again, he said, Thou shalt be far from terror. For it shall not come near You know why it shall not come near you? It is because it cannot come near you. 
Why can't he come near you? Because you are very far. Saga. Any teaching, right, that makes you look as if you and Satan, you and curses, you and demons, you and principalities are mates, and you are now in a battle together, that teaching is a wrong teaching. It's not biblical. You can use it for ignorant people, and you know people will gather in thousands. But they will never truly be free because you'll be going from prayer house to prayer house, prayer platform to prayer platform, praying prayers. When light will set you free. Because, yes, that's the beauty of light. For in him is life. The life is the light of men. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness, that's what we call the audacity of light. When light comes, it does not argue. Well, see, listen to me. There is an intensity of light you carry. Anybody that calls your name, whatsoever they declare, they carry it. Because if you give, it shall be given to you. They release one arrow. It will turn and turn to 100. Because they are reaping full harvest. And it will go to them. You won't even know. That's why sometimes when you are praising God, thank him for the unknown victory. Thank him for the unknown. It's not all you know. When they say come and testify, it's not only when you miss death. Mm -mm. There are so many unknown victories. I slept and I woke up because the Lord kept me. So that means I just slept. Oh, it looks normal. But there is something called the sustaining grace of God. Is somebody in church tonight? Look at verse 15. Behold, they shall. You see, again, you see that word surely. They shall surely do what? So, when somebody came, come, when you go somewhere, you know, if you don't know your Bible, they will be deceiving you. Because say, come out, come out. People have gathered against you. Is that news? Is that prophecy? You tell them that, sir, they have to gather. They have to gather. Part of their destiny is to what? Sir, I see two witches, one named Peter, on a wall against you. But tell him, sir, soon there will be fly away and fly away. Behold, they shall surely gather. Listen to me. If they don't gather, they are not fulfilling destiny. But not by me. He now gives you a caveat. Whosoever. Whosoever. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Mengo parosa. Lagatoka palime go paria. Ejua kapalia. Whosoever. In the spirit or in the physical. Man or spirit. Shall gather together against thee. He said for your sake. For your sake. They must what? Fall. My friend, know scripture and believe scripture. Can I advise you? Please, don't gather against me. Are you hearing me? No, I'm not joking. Don't do what? Even as a joke, three people just call somebody to your house, let's gather against pastor. You'll be shocked. You are sitting down, but you must fall. You don't find out before you use your nose to hit ground. But you can gather for me. Join your hands in prayer. I hope you know now, Satan is using his head to hit concrete. Do you know why? That she's knowing the truth. She's knowing the truth. He's knowing the truth. We can no longer gather. Light has come. Give me 16. 
Behold, I have created the smith and that bloweth the coals in the fire that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Look at verse 17. Because of everything he has said in 1415, look how he said, he now explains to so you this is it. He said, because of that, no weapon. You know, the person sitting by your side to your left, you know they don't know you. They just think you're ordinary. Please help me announce to them. Say, I'm heavily protected. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Tell them that I have divine immunity. Say, what touches others? What harms others? What kills others? Has no effect on me. Someone shout, no weapon. No weapon. Hey, yeah. Because all weapons are formed and fashioned. So he said, no weapon that is formed against thee shall what? Every tongue, because most times weapons is tongues they use. I will see what will become of her. I will see what will become of him. If I be, he over my dead body for her to marry. Hey! If that person does not repent, their prophecy will come to pass. Look at what he said. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in thou shalt condemn. Please, let's do a small Let's obey that scripture. Say, we say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, by the power in the blood, the the atmosphere upon my life, the the atmosphere around my life, the the atmosphere around my destiny, by the power in the blood, I clear them now. It is conducive for prosperity, for progress, for increase, for multiplication for fruitfulness therefore I carry an atmosphere for miracles for signs for wonders for progress for favor for mercy for speed in the name of Jesus we have cleared every atmosphere around you you know the way presidents come, they are clearing the road. That's how your word is clearing. As you are speaking now, angels are moving, they are clearing. Amen. Hear me? There will be no bad news from your life. Amen. I'm telling you, there will be no bad news. You know that voice that has been telling you that you will not make it, that you are just going to keep struggling and struggling. I hope you know that's the voice of a liar. Yeah. We reply that voice right now. In the name of Jesus, you rise in a supernatural way. Can I speak to somebody here? You will exceed every expectation. Can I pray over somebody? Can I pray over somebody? Can I pray over somebody? Your life will be bigger than your prayer. Hear me, hear me, hear me. May God answer you a million times bigger than that your prayer. May God answer you a million times bigger than your biggest prayer. In the name of Jesus. Do you know, sorry, those online maybe watching from US, don't mind me. At this point, I have to speak in pidgin English. You know what you can sweet me pass? <laughs> I told one of my pastor friends, I said sometimes when I'm preaching, eh, he gets some prayer I want to pray. Believe me, I'm not joking. It's only Igbo that can convey it. English, we spoil it. I didn't mean I can speak Igbo. It's in for sweet me. Catching a case yoko. <laughs> But this particular one is broken. This particular one are broken. So, you know what you sweet me pass for this scripture? He said, this is the heritage. Mm. That means this is the right. 
This is the inheritance. This scripture is not to do us our favor. We were born for it. And their righteousness is of me. He said the reason why we are seeing this is because God has declared us what? God says before his eyes. It's, it's God that said it. He said before his eyes you are clean. So Satan cannot say, she's a sinner. There's a reason. You are you offended. He lost his temper. He burnt that. God says, see, by the blood of my son, this man, this woman, this family, I declare them clean. There's nothing you can do. He says, and such were some of you, but now ye are washed. Ye are sanctified. Ye are justified the name of our Lord Jesus and by the power of his spirit. 2 Corinthians 5.21 2 Corinthians he says and their righteousness their righteousness he said for he had made him to be what? You need to know this scripture. You need to memorize it. For he had made him to be what? Sin for us who knew he took somebody that had no sin, made him sin. Why? Is that we might be made what? Uh, that's your portion to read. That we might be made what? So that's why when God looks at you, nothing. Justified, washed. While you are thinking, feeling dirty, God is saying, no, you are clean. Hope you know every time scripture comes, they say to the saints. You are a saint. I am. So some of you need to pray to me. Say, Saint Abu, pray for me. <laughs> no, it's scriptural. If you go to this one, he say, and to the saints. You know, most people don't read their Bible. So when you talk Bible, they become, and they say they are Christians. They believe the Bible. I remember when I gave my life to Christ, I was still a young Muslim boy. I used to think that the Bible was just that thing you put under your pillow because, you know, when you are in boarding house, there's a different story. They'll say, Madame Kos Kos, um, Bush Baby, this, ah, I don't know, and it's in all schools. <laughs> so, your saving grace is to put Bible under your pillow. But I've seen two people, two Gideon's Bible under their pillow. Yeah, like, oh, gee! So it's not the Bible under your pillows that works. It's the Bible inside your heart. Glory be to God. What's the time now? Ah. So the first point we saw under being high is that we are too high for the devil and all his operations. Point number two. Sagab means to be high because of prosperity. So tonight I will just introduce this. Hallelujah. The second meaning of Sagab, the first meaning means we are too high to be captured. We are too high for Satan. We are too high for causes. We are too high for Satan and all his operations. The second meaning means we are high because of the prosperity that came as a result of the blessing. You have to walk in the revelation of the blessing. You have to walk in the consciousness, in the consciousness of the blessing. You have to walk in the, with the mindset of the blessing. At every point in time, you must call yourself. Listen to me. Even if you look like the definition of a curse, you must utter that I am blessed. Your mind will fight you. Your body will fight you. Your house will fight you. Your pillow will say, will say to you, can't you see me? I have the map of the world on me. You open your fridge, there will be nothing inside. Don't allow your fridge to speak to you. Don't speak according to your fridge. 
Don't speak according to your alert. Don't speak according to your bank account. Don't speak according to what you are wearing. Don't speak according to what you have or what you don't have. You speak according to the word. You say, I am blessed. Until the blessing takes over your mind, your thoughts, your language, it does not begin to manifest. Listen to me. It is what takes over your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, your imaginations, and your language that begins to manifest. Hear me again. It is what takes over your thoughts, your imagination, your consciousness, your, your, your desires, your feelings, and changes your language that begins to manifest. A lot of us, we have come to church, we have heard about the blessing, but it has not taken over our mind. It has not taken over our thoughts. It has not taken over our imaginations. It has not changed our language in the secret when we are alone and in the public when we are with others. Until the blessing becomes natural to you, it does not begin to find expression in your life. Glory be to God. So, sagab number two means, number two means to be high or lofty because of prosperity that comes by the blessing. It means to be high. I've said it to you and I repeat it every time I have the opportunity. On this earth you will never suffer. Amen. I thought your amen would be bigger than that. Amen. I thought your amen would be louder than that. Amen. Please write this down. There is a principle, there is a principle, a force on this earth. There is a principle, a force on this earth that makes failure and lack possible. There is a force that eyes cannot see on this earth. It makes failure possible. That's, it makes people to fail. It makes poverty a reality. It forces people to become poor. The assignment of that force is for people to be poor, to struggle. Whether you are a believer, whether it, that's the assignment, that force. It's the governing force. It's actually the governing force of the government of this earth. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. The law of sin and death. That's the principle. Responsible for failure. Responsible for poverty. The joy of that spirit, of that force, is that people lack. They can't afford Panadol. They die of headache. They can't pay rent. Shame comes on them. A man will get to 50. Not that he has not seen a woman he likes. He does not have money to do the marriage. An honest pastor. Stop being an honest pastor. Stealing tithe and offering. Why? Because of poverty. That's the joy of that principle. A father will desire to send his children to school. He can't do it. That's the joy of that spirit. Send these children back home. Can't pay school fees. Sometimes even when some people have some little money, when that spirit enter them, it manifests as the waster spirit. They will waste money on addiction. Waste money on gambling. You know, because the waster spirit, the assignment is to keep poor so that the person can be going around the same cycle. Same cycle of lack. Same cycle of suffering. Same cycle of frustration. Same story of stagnancy. But you see, the when they say the name of the Lord is a strong tower, 
that the righteous runneth into it and is sagar. He is lifted above that principle. So the principle is operating here, affecting everybody, but the believer is here. I said it before in the, in the beginning of this teaching that it is happening to everybody does not mean it should happen to you. Someone shout, my case is different. Mm. I'm still going to repeat this once I have the opportunity again. But let's read about three scriptures then maybe we begin to round up. And that principle was not on this earth before. It came in immediately Adam and Eve sinned. Part of what they activated, they turned the switch on. They opened the gate for it and it flooded itself. It became the dominant force of this earth. Why do you think people struggle? Some people are just 30 years old, though. some 29. Just sit down, you are just greeting them. You, you are 40, you just be seeing somebody. Um, good evening, sir. He's, he's not that old, though. He's hustling. He's hustling, oh. That person that you think is 65, he's hustling. That's that spirit. He wants you to be old before your time. And because the end result is so that you die. How can a 25-year-old, everybody's greeting you, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Is it your 72nd birthday? No, go to most marriages. What is causing the problem? Why the impatience? Why is the father, why is he, why does little thing anger him? He's not a bad man. Is that sick spirit? That spirit. If, you, if the man is not doing well financially, you, 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 just, you just be getting angry without reason. He's impatient with the children, impatient with the mother, impatient with himself. He's quiet. He's not generally a quiet man. He's a playful man. He likes to play. Until the spirit crashes that marriage. I hope you know that divorce is not the separation of two people. Divorce is the tearing of two souls apart. It will tear the souls of them. So if you are contemplating divorce, don't try it. Oh. Don't try it. Except your life is at stake. You know if you don't run away, they will kill you. No, in in this church, we don't encourage divorce. We don't preach divorce. We don't support divorce. But we also understand that the law of life is higher than the law of marriage. Nobody came to earth to be killed by another person. I was on a WhatsApp platform where they say a woman was beating her husband. Beat him, beat him to the point she used bottle to break his head, then used knife to stab him again. And somebody was talking on the platform that it's happening life. It's happening now. They say, tell him to run first. Let it, that person was asking for human rights. They say, oh, the first thing first, let's save him. Let him run. Let him run. When he has run away, they say, is the man running? Yes, we agree. But let him run first. Before whether we consider he's a man, why should a man run? Before that first, let him be alive. Tomorrow, we will say, ah, you run. Yes, I run. You know, people will be advising you stupid advice. Someone is about to kill you. They are saying you are a man. What's the use of a dead man? You will run first. You run to Ghana. Very far. Sagap. <laughs> then when the storm has come, you bring Umuna. To come, <laughs> to come, I heard, to come and discuss. That's better. You you carry police, fire brigade, um, MCDC, um, 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 vigilante. You know, lasma, lawman. They follow you. So praise God. So that's the purpose of that spirit. Because how can a full blown man? A ripe man be beating his wife. What's wrong with all the military men by Abacha Barak there? <laughs> if you are that impatient, 
say, eh, I'm hot tempered. Why have you not slapped any military man? By as we're driving, we saw three military men beating one man. So why wouldn't you go and slap? Use your temper. All these people saying they have temper, they are lying. If you really have temper, let somebody video you by Bacha Barat. Those men just came under that till I just go. I'm hot temper. Pa! Then you come back, we give you an award. The most hot. I promise you, you will not remain the same. You think it's only pastor that says you will not remain the same after some? You will not remain the same. You will be born again. <laughs> Glory be to God. So that's the assignment of that spirit. Listen to me. Some people insult churches. One lady once told me that I don't like any church where they teach people on prosperity. Where they teach. So I said, what do you want to teach them? Ninety percent of people's prayer point when they are sweating, Lord, do it. Say, please, sir. What is the English name of Lord? Do it. I want to break through, break through, break through, break. sir. Can you operationalize the word break through? It simply means money in my account. Listen to me. Anything that wants to bring poverty near your life, may the thunder of God strike them now. Yeah. Let nobody ever convince you lack is not good. The starting point of prosperity is that you must desire it. You must have a burning desire for it. One of the biggest weapons of Satan is shame. Shame. Disgrace. Reproach. People look down on you. You are embarrassed. And one major channel of embarrassment, of shame, of reproach, of disgrace is poverty. I pray for you. May the Almighty God prosper you. I thought somebody was going to receive that. I say, may God prosper you by His blessing. May big time money on this earth tap your right leg on the ground. Upon this earth, may big time money find its way into your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm not going to be able to read my scriptures again. Let me just pray for you, right? You see, may the idea, may the illumination, may the revelation, may the concepts, may the inspiration that will lead you into unusual prosperity, may it be released into your life now. Amen. Hear me, please. May that wisdom that wisdom, that insight, that product, that service, that business you should start to bring you into the blessing, into unprecedented wealth. May God, by the Holy Ghost, reveal it to you right now. I said, you didn't hear me. I said, may it be revealed to you right now. May it be revealed to you right now. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. Every money, every promotion, every lifting in life, most of the time comes through somebody. Somebody will recommend you. Somebody will hold your hand, take you there. Somebody will say, sign it for him, sign it for her. Someone will say, give it to him. Someone will say, give it to her. Someone will say, come, let's do it together. And after that, boom! Your story changes. Hear me. That divine relationship, that divine connection, that advantageous connection, that strategic man, that woman, wherever they are on the face of the earth, may you meet them in the name of Jesus. As your amen will thunder, 
May you meet them in the name of Jesus. May you encounter them. May you find favor. 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 Finally, believe it. There are doors on this earth. I've seen it open for me. There are doors on this earth. Sometimes people call them opportunities. They are called doors. Jesus said the gates of hell shall not prevail. He said I've set a door before you that no man can shut. Hear me. Listen to me. You were born. I, I didn't say you would become a multi-millionaire, but if that's your desire, God will crown it. Yes. 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 Now this is my prayer. For every man, for every woman in this house, online and on site, every door, every door, whether that door represents a company, whether it represents a sector, whether it represents a location, whether it represents a state, whether it represents a country, whether it represents a family, listen to me. Every door that needs to open for you to come into unprecedented worlds, as your amen will thunder, I speak to them. Open right now. I'll pray that prayer two more times. As your amen will ring out, I command them to open right now. For the last time, wherever they are, whatsoever has been holding them bound before, I command them to open right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just open your mouth, pray in tongues, and give him thanks. Don't shut your mouth. Whether in English, whether in your language, but especially in tongues, give him praise and give him glory. Give him praise and give him glory. Ya kate ni ababa baba ba shuli ya pretenda ya e palima se prade ba me gade gade e praga da gada e koba ni abada le prade ba ni akabosha ya gade ne kabaya o sho parata ya e sale ba re ba kata ni ande e paliande ba ni mansa paya e paliande Bade ko paragade, e sakaya gade, me kwa parada yada. Raga bado shale, lebra de kabaya gade, lebra de bade bade, lebra ba 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 ba, e kaba ba 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 ba, e kaba ba 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 ba. Eka ba 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 ba, eka ba 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 ba, eko ba re ba ya, enda ba se ba ya, ba di ande ba sa ya ba, ba ba re ba ya ba da, eka ba 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 ba, eka ba 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 ba, eko ba ga de ga de, enda ga ba ya ga, ba ba ya ga dosha, ba ba ga ba da ba ya da, ebra de de da ya, ya de da ba se ba ya, enda ba re ba ba ba. In the name of Jesus, we gave you praise, we gave you honor. Every man, every woman here lives here with the grace to prosper. 
Every man, every woman, every family leaves this service with the grace to prosper. Everything you have been praying for, the answer has come. I say the answer has come. It will be bigger than your faith, bigger than your prayer, bigger than your expectation, faster than you expected, faster than you expected, faster than you expected, faster than you expected, faster than you expected. In the name of Jesus. You will not be ashamed. You will never be disgraced. You will not be embarrassed. There will be no reproach in your life. Wherever you turn, you will be honored. 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 You'll be honored. You'll be honored. You'll be honored. You'll be honored. Honored by prosperity. Honored by status. Honored by lifting. Honored by position. You'll be honored. You'll be honored. You'll be celebrated. You'll be congratulated. You'll be recognized in the name of Jesus. Jam your hands, celebrate Jesus, take your seat. Please, very briefly, all heads bowed. I just want to give somebody an opportunity to give their life to Christ. That is the most exciting event, the most glorious event, the most dignifying event, the most honorable event in heaven. The most joyous event in heaven and on earth. The most significant ev event in heaven and on earth. Please, if you are here, you are not born again. You are not yet a child of God. I did not say you are not yet a church goer. You are not yet a child of God. Please, as I pray this prayer, put your right hand upon your chest. Say with me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the light of your word. Tonight, Lord Jesus, I confess and I forsake my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as the Lord of my life. I receive you as my Savior. You died for me and you rose. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that you are my Savior. You are the Lord of my life. Tonight, I receive your life into my spirit. Holy Ghost, regenerate me. Make me a child of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this sister. Thank you for this brother that has prayed this prayer. May your hand rest upon them. Please, if you prayed that prayer with your hand upon your chest, we want to pray some more for you. Can you point your right hand up quickly? Quickly, without waste of time. It's a glorious event. It's to be celebrated. It's to be honored. Is there a hand coming up? Is there a hand coming up quickly? Is there a hand coming up? Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration in Jesus' mighty name. If you are watching online and you prayed that prayer, put it on the live chat. Somebody is going to reach out to you. Someone is going to contact you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus. What a night we have had. Is that how you celebrate Jesus? Before... Before, listen, listen, ushers, just one, give me a second. Before we start taking the offering, the praise and miracle service for the 7th of April is going to be with a difference. God has given me a word for that day. You can't afford to miss it. Total deliverance. Full liberation. Immediate signs and wonders. Instant miracles. And of course, our brother, Reverend Solomon Lange will also be around to lead us in praise, time of celebration. Please, the least number of people you bring for that service alone, five. Five. And as you are bringing your visitors, don't bring them late so that they can sit in the auditorium and get the experience. Don't come by 8.30. Everywhere will be filled up. I promise you. We are going to make overflows available. Let's give our tithes and our offering. 
If you want an envelope, just wave your hands. The account numbers are on the screen. Make sure you're giving generously this evening. You are the prospered one. You are, the, you are prosperous. You are the blessed one. You are the prosperous one. You are the blessed one. If you're making your transfers, the GT Bank account number is there. The Unity Bank account is there. With regards to the praise and miracle service, please look for the e-flyers. Post them on your WhatsApp status. Look for the videos kit. Share them on your Facebook, your Instagram. Please, across all social media platforms, on our platforms, like them, make comments. If you have, if you're not on any of our social media, on TikTok and all that, please, tonight, right, follow. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Make sure you follow. Make sure you do that. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the wealthiest family on the face of the earth. Thank you for the most generous set of people on the face of the earth. After this tithes, after this offering, after every other expense, in the name of Jesus, we have excess. We give you praise. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for coming tonight and thank you for listening. God bless you. Help me welcome Pastor Philip. Let's celebrate our pastor this evening. Is that to celebrate your pastor? Is that to celebrate your man of God? Hallelujah. Amen. Can we just stretch forth our hands towards pastor and just bless and prophesy to him this evening that God increase him more and more replenish him? Him in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's have our seat in God's presence. Hallelujah. All right. Two services every Sunday. Hallelujah. This Sunday, Pastor continues on the teaching series, Increase and Multiplication. Somebody say increase and multiplication through goal setting. So endeavor to bring somebody to church. We've gone past inviting. We are bringing. Tell your neighbor we are bringing. And that's minimum of five persons you are bringing to church. So tell your neighbor bring five persons. And establish five persons. That's the minimum. So we are meant to do the work of an evangelist. Hallelujah. The next request is our teaching service. 6.30 p.m. Um, Pastor continues on the teaching series. Um, what's the teaching series next week, Wednesday? Somebody said the name of the Lord is what? It's a strong time. Hallelujah. Somebody said this Saturday, no prayers. However, on Friday, the 29th of March, we meet on Mixella by 5.30 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. No Saturday prayers physically. But on Friday, 29th of March, we meet on Mixella in the morning, 5.30 in the evening by 8.30. Hallelujah. Praise and miracle service for the month of April. What's the team for the praise and miracle service? Somebody say total deliverance. So that's the 7th of April. Know that it's a single service and I guess minister... On that day in song, it's Solomon Lange. Hallelujah. Kindly see any of the pastors to register your name for your testimonies. Um, there's a cut-off date already for the testimony. So um, it's on first come, first, first come, first serve basis. Hallelujah. So please register your name in time so that you can be booked down for a testimony on that day. Amen. The prayer band meets every Tuesday by 6.30 p.m. at the prayer room behind. Please endeavor to join the prayer band who prays for the church, our families, and the nation at large. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he who waters will be what? Water also. Amen. Wedding announcement is happening this Saturday. Two weddings this Saturday. Somebody say double wedding. Hallelujah. The wedding of Alero Gloria Johnson and Isineri Stephen is taking place right here in this auditorium by 11 a.m. Hallelujah. Then also on that same date and time, Chima Peace and Ibe Namadi. Hallelujah. 
coming up on the 30th of March at the Holybrook Church by 11 a.m. Please join them in prayers. Then also our own dear Ruth Chinwe and Joseph Olalekon coming up on the 6th of April at the CAC Glory Mission Phase 2 Idiroko, far away in Oshun State. So let's join them in prayer. God will keep those dates in Jesus' name. All right, if today is your first time fellowship with us at the Holybrook Church, we love you. We want to celebrate you in a unique way. Any first time in our midst, can you just signify with the raise of your hand if today is your first time fellowship with us? Can I see your hand up? All right, rise up to your feet. Carry your Bible, carry your bag, okay? Somebody's going to reach out to you. Somebody's going to reach out. Just stand up to your feet. Retention member, please reach out to them. God bless you. You can have your seat. Kindly fill that card. Somebody's going to meet with you shortly after the service. Have you been blessed this evening? Somebody say, far above. All right, let's rise up to our feet as we take our benediction. Hallelujah. Don't forget, we meet on Mix Aloud this Friday, 5.30 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. Then on Saturday, there is no prayer. Hallelujah. Let's take our benediction. One, two, three, go. God has made all grace and earthly favor abound towards us. Therefore, we have all sufficiency in all things and excess for every good work. All kinds of miracles happen in our midst with ease. There are no limits and no limitations in our life. We are that family that achieve great things with great ease. For the Lord our God in the midst of us is mighty. God bless you. See you on Mixel on Friday.